So this is the air conditioner that I modeled last time. I made a couple of changes. Uh, I put this thing sort of on both sides so that I could put bolts there if you look from there, bolts there if you look from there, just to give it a little bit more detail. Uh, it's on the bottom as well. I thickened up the uh, this part of the, 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 the blinds. I put a little thing on here and I made a little small adjustment to it. To the blinds themselves and that's that's basically it all right so what you're going to want to do is make sure that all modifiers are applied except for this one that's not really that important but like things like bevels or you know subdivision surfaces select it all and m merge by distance just to make sure uh, also make sure that all of your polys are facing the right way okay then we're going to go in and press u smart uv project island margin 0.03 Okay, and then make sure everything's all selected. And you can either use Pack Islands here, or in my case, I'm gonna use UV Pack Master. And that's it. Now you export this as an FBX and bring it into Substance Painter. In Substance Painter, I'm gonna click File and New. I'm gonna switch this to OpenGL. Select, and search for where my guy is. There it is, and okay. All right, so there it is, and now we need to bake the mesh maps before we do that. Just notice it's come in with the three materials, the blind, the body, and the panel. All right. Let's bake the mesh maps. Do this at 2K, uncheck ID, and let it run. So to start off with, I'm going to click here, and actually it's this one, and scroll down and turn on temporal anti-aliasing and look a little bit better. All right, so over here, I'm going to start with the body. I'm going to delete that. In fact, I'm going to come to all of these layers and just delete the default layer. All right, so in the last video, I created a smart material. I'm going to come down here. I created this AC material, and I'm going to try this. I'm going to drag it onto the body, and there it is, and it's a little bit intense for this and that's the deal with all the smart materials sometimes you have to tweak them they're not always perfect so I'm going to come in here in particular it's this layer here so I'm going to come to the generator and I'm going to consider um, first of all this AO is at 0 0.9 I'm going to try 0 0.65 and that may give me just what I need um, I think that's probably going to be okay. I'm going to start with that. All right, so there's my AC material. I'm now going to add some dirt on top of this, and then I'll be able to get a better sense of this. So I'm going to bring the roughness up and the dirt. I'm going to have just a dark brown color. Add a black mask. And by the way, I want my dirt outside there. It doesn't really matter, but I'm going to put it up here. I got a black mask and use a generator dirt. And I'm going to drag this down. And that's going to darken up things on the inside, which is just what I want. All right. So if I like that, I'll call this dirt. And I'll select both of these and copy them. And I'm going to put them on the different layers, on the different materials, actually. Paste that. That's going to go in there on the panel. And I also want it on the blind. And I just want to have another look at it. Yeah, that looks that looks nice to me. Yeah, that's kind of what I'm going to go for. So those are the materials, and really, all that's left is to start doing the alpha work. So I think I'll come back to the body, and I'm going to create a new paint layer. I'm going to drag it down below here, and I'm going to call this alpha. And I think I will do the... Um, the anchor points right now because sometimes it's easier for me to see what I'm doing with the effects that the anchor points will give me and I'll show you what I'm talking about. I'm going to do multiple anchor points and I did this in my last video and I will probably do a separate video just on that as a substance painter tip because that's something that's pretty important. Uh, and so what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new fill layer and I'm going to call this anchor points. You can call it whatever you want. I'm going to call it anchor points and I'm going to add an anchor point to this and it'll get the same name, anchor points. I'm going to click back on the fill layer and come up here and I'm going to switch this to height. So I'm looking at the height channel 
and I'm going to switch this to pass through and then I come back to base color. I'm only going to be using alphas which deal with height not normal so I don't need to change the normal here. Now that I've got that I'm going to reference these anchor points up here in some uh, generator. So for example I want this orangey brown color so I'm going to click on the generator and come over here. This one is generally turned on already here in micro details it says true so I'm going to come down to here choose the anchor point and then switch this to height. Now you won't see anything because I don't have any alphas yet. I'm going to do one more I'm going to come up to this dirt generator. I don't want to use this dust I want to use this dirt. You could use all of them really if you want. This one is probably turned off says false for under micro height so turn it on click here do the same thing I did a minute ago change the reference channel from base color to height. Now that is going to allow those um, effects to show up on this alpha layer and so what I want to do first is I want to work on some vent like structures on the side so actually I'm going to change this to say vent because I'm going to do this on a separate layer than the other alphas but this still is alpha stuff all right I'm going to turn on symmetry that will allow me to do something on this side and it'll show up on the other side so I want that and I want to also switch to orthographic and snap it into position and I want to choose an alpha and the one that I'm going to choose for choose that I'm going to choose I'm going to scroll down here and find this vent like thing there is it not that one uh, there it is and I click that I'm gonna come over here to the properties and you can see the alphas there I could drag it in if I want I just double clicked and I only want to use height and I'm gonna drop this down I'm gonna try all the way and we'll see I'm gonna make a couple of changes well we can have a look at what this looks like here now watch when I stamp it in you see we get that kind of thing okay so what I want to do is on invert I want to say uh, true I'm going to bring this here uh, we're gonna try see what's 10 like yeah and use border off okay so now check this out all right that's so I get the dirt and I get the uh, the orangey yellow color and so it, that dirt makes it look dark obviously now I'm going to do one there and I'm going to try to do another one right below it and try to get a similar uh, that's not quite it a similar distance in between so as you know it's a little trial and error that's probably pretty good all right let's say we're going to live with that let's first of all let's make sure it's on the other side you see okay uh, but I don't want it down that far so I'm going to switch to the eraser and this square let's try a brush a basic hard brush might be a little easier to get in there okay we got rid of the bottom one I think I'm going to go one more and I got rid of that one all right I do want that square actually for the next thing so uh, here I can just type Q okay and I'm going to come from here, roughly in the middle, hold shift and control. Nope, that's not the position I want. Try there. Something like that. Yeah, and that's going to be on both sides. If I come out of orthographic, I'll turn that off, out of orthographic into perspective, press F to, you know, reframe. That's what we get. All right, so that's looking good. That's for the vent. Okay, I'm going to create another layer and I will call this alpha. It's below here so all of the effects will will go on there as well. So let's do let's do something simple. Let's go back in orthographic and symmetry and we will put some bolts on here. So in my alpha, I'm going to search for bolts. You could use any kind of a bolt or something like that that you might have and let's just try let's go back to the brush actually make sure we got that all 
this is click and see you can see the effects coming in already all right so i'm going to put say roughly like that and i'm going to do it on this back part too and that's why i created the back thing so that if you were looking from the back oh it's not that exciting you would see something now there's also some on the bottom uh, i just got to find that there's the there's the panel there so i'm just going to roughly do something similar and there are some some bolts on there and they're getting the effects of the the anchor points okay good 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 um let's go on and i will use this same alpha layer to do some other stuff that i want to do uh on here i think maybe we'll go to the side and i can think about if i want my height all the way down i think i'm going to bring it to about midway and i'm going to search for rectangle i think i'll use this one just like that but we'll turn this let's see which way do we need to turn just like that and i want to put something let's try it uh it's not quite there uh, i'm gonna put something there and there and then there's a little bit on the others on the underside so i'm going to go back to the eraser I'll try the square this time and uh do that okay come down to this one shift and control in a straight line and go a little bit deeper maybe yeah okay you're never gonna see that anyhow and that ends up being on both sides we get some that effect all right cool okay i'm gonna come to the panel now all right on the panel i'm creating a layer I'm going to call this alpha and I want to set up the same anchor points fill layer anchor points all right I will name it anchor points or add an anchor point there anchor points switch this to height and switch this to pass through and I'll come back to base color and I'll choose the uh, generators that I want that one will be on already so we'll get this anchor points switch this to height just like we did before so I've got this one and I want the dirt layer also this one tends to be off so in micro details I'll turn that to true and grab the anchor point all right so back on alpha layer all right Let's just do a quick test okay so this is what we're getting let's go to the properties and i bring the hardness up and just see what we can do here okay um and that's more like what we want okay but maybe i'll squeeze it a little bit more so it's a little bit more circular but still like that so i've put two of those i would get them on the bottom as well i'll just work on the uh position a little bit more okay that's not bad and we can put an arrow or something on there okay so let's go with that and then let's try square I think I can take this one and um, maybe make it a bit smaller. Hold down shift and control and come out. Nah, I don't want it that long. Just something in here, roughly in the middle. Not quite in the middle. Start it there. Come to about maybe there. So we could have that thing there. 
and then maybe we can have some rectangular buttons here and so for that let's just increase the spacing and then experiment and i'll have them over here and uh, increase the spacing some more i want three i don't need them that far apart let's just lower that a bit try that that would give me three buttons there okay i want like a power uh light there so let's search for a circle again i'll take this one and let's try let's see let's increase the border uh you want to increase or decrease it and the hardness let's just try that and see what it, what she looks like okay uh i'm going to try it this way i just want to see yeah that's what i want all right i'm going to change the hardness a little bit and let's put that maybe there okay just play with it until you get what you like and i can put a, an emission on there okay good yep and I was thinking of some dots of some sort. I think I can grab these dots, change this to maybe six, and decrease the scale. But I think I'm gonna bring the height up, and let's see what that's like. I just wanna click and see, okay. Um, we're gonna change the rotation of this. And I'll change the size a bit. Let me just see what those are like, okay. I don't want them up that high, I just want a gentle kind of a, well I can adjust the scale here too. Yeah, just, what if I put them around that thing there? Okay, so that gives me buttons, power light, something there, those, I think you get the idea anyhow. And so at this point, I'm going to turn that off. These are my alphas and I'm getting the effects. All right, let's put some text or whatever on there. So I'm gonna come up to the very top and create another layer and I'm gonna call this text. And for this one, I'm gonna have just color. I'm gonna all click on color and I'm gonna change this to like a dark, almost a black color. And in my alphas, I'm gonna search for arrow this arrow here and it's pointing down right now and I'm not going to do this with symmetry because if this one's down then this one will be up so I'm just going to do them separately so I'll start with the down arrow and get the size that I want approximately if I click there let's see that's a bit big so this will make it a little bit smaller and I could have a down arrow there and then on this one I'll have a down arrow as well and then I'll take this and I'll just flip it. So I have a up arrow on that one and an up arrow on that one. All right, that's good. And then let's do say font. I'll choose maybe this courier font, set that back to zero. Come down here, I'm gonna say number one. Maybe I'll make it bold and we'll see how we like that. So, Let's just make it a bit bigger. Try one, change this to two. We're just gonna go up on all these buttons. Two, three, and I think these ones I won't start again. I'll just continue with like four. So you can have two sort of ACs. Uh, four. Now nah, let's let's do that again. Okay, maybe a little bit better. Five and six. All right, and then maybe we'll just have a couple of you know, words beside these. Let's go low, capitals low. And just check the the, uh, the room I've got. Don't really have to be able to, to read these very well. 
it's just something to have on there so maybe with the circle just touching low and let's see all right and then I'll change this to high HI you with caps good enough all right good uh, there is an effect that I want to add to this though let's try looking at this uh, without just in perspective and just have a look at the numbers and so this is text so I'm going to add a filter and the filter I'm going to choose is this glow filter and I'm going to leave it at white but I could drop the intensity and the width I'm going to put at let's try 0 0.06 all right you can see maybe that's still too much 0 0.04 just a little bit of something and you can drop the intensity a bit more it just makes the text a little bit more visible and it's almost like in Photoshop when you used to, you know, do stuff like that to make it look like it was raised or lowered. So you can decide how much you want of this if you want it at all. I'll do it that way. Okay, so far so good. So I'm going to put an emission now on those lights, just, just like I did last time. Still on the panel uh, layer. Give our text. I'm going to create a new fill layer. I'm going to call this emissive. And I need to add the emissive channel, which is not there, so now it is. So if we come in here, we see emission. I'm gonna do emission and color. And you know, you could choose, I'm gonna go for red and sort of a red, but we'll up the emissive intensity here a little bit like that. And then I'm gonna add a black mask and I'm gonna scroll in here. Let's go back to orthographic and let's just scale that down and try clicking there and seeing if we like it like that yeah i do and then this one here there we go let's come out of that back into perspective mm, yeah yeah so that's what it looks like Okay, and then I mean if you wanted to you could come in here you could activate post effects turn on glare It'll glow a little bit more and you can even come in here and switch this to bloom if you want Come back here and play with the emissive intensity if that's I'll just put it up just so you can see see it that way so uh, Is there anything else? I mean you could go on and on putting uh, alpha details on this thing So that is it. There's that second or third air conditioner and i think we'll leave it like this so thanks very much for watching this i think we'll move on to some different type things but uh that was a lot of fun all right take care